Hey everyone, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server. Uh, this is pretty simple to do since we're going to be downloading the different ways to do it off of the Minecraft.net website. So to begin, we're going to open Google Chrome and we're going to go to Minecraft.net. I have a link right here, so I'm just going to click that and it'll take us right to Minecraft.net. What you want to do is go down to Play Minecraft Beta. You don't even have to log in, so just click Download. Scroll down to Multiplayer Beta Software. And you have two different options. We can download MinecraftServer.exe and also MinecraftServer.jar. So we're going to download both, both, different, both versions. And so they both work the same way. And as you can see, we're going to drag... We're going to start off using the first version, which is just running minecraft uh, underscore server dot exe what we're gonna do is make put it into another folder so we're gonna go to our documents and drag this to our minecraft server one folder and we're basically just gonna execute this file and if you don't have java installed i recommend you to download java because that will be important for uh, future use with minecraft So it's going to now uh, basically make all the files and prepare everything and start up the uh, world and things like that. So once this is done, we will continue. Alright, we're going to take this time to uh, basically show you how to set up the server properties. As you can see, now it's preparing the spawn area. Uh, first it was adding the, uh, the seed to your world folder and now it's starting it up for use. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Server Properties by going to con Documents and where we found our server, uh, Server 1. And this time, as you can see, it's no longer just says uh, MinecraftServer.exe. Now it has a folder called World and a bunch of different text files and also the Properties files. We're going to open the Properties files of the server uh, with Notepad, so double click it. And as you can see right here where it says server IP, now either if you port forwarded your computer, you can use your own IP, or what you can do is use Hamachi. So what I use is Hamachi usually because it works just as fine. What you can do is open Hamachi, and as you can see right here, if you haven't done so already, install Hamachi, the link will be in the, in the description. Press the uh, power button and it will give you your own personal IP. You're going to right click this area right here and click copy IP version for address now. That just means that it'll copy four points of connectivity, 5.203, 0 .136, 0 .130, or 121. So we're going to copy that. And we're basically just going to paste it into our server properties where it says server IP. And as you can see, the server port is 25565. And so that's it. Once you've done that, you close this and save it. And you can start up your server, and then you'll be fine. Another another way you can uh, make a server is the other way I downloaded, which will be server two. So what we're going to do is download Minecraft uh, underscore server dot jar, which is a Java file as well. We're going to cut and paste this into uh, the documents folder, server two folder. And then what we're going to do is uh, either open this to add modifications to it, if you know how to do that. You're going to have to also delete the meta dot meta slash inf file or a file folder and that will enable you to use the mods that you've installed into the jar file or what you can do is in order for this to run you need to make a dot bat file extension on a, an executable file so what you're gonna do is click Google Chrome and remember at the bottom where it said uh, at the bottom of minecraft.net in the multiplayer download uh, installation thing if you scroll down down here you'll see Java dash XMX all this little code right here you're gonna copy this and then you're gonna close this open notepad paste this into notepad and click file save as and what you're gonna do is put uh, quotes around the uh, file name and we're gonna name it start server you can name it anything you want dot bat make sure it has a dot bat file extension because that is executable and that will start up the server as you can see, we're saving it into the document, server test, and server 2 folder. So click save. We're going to close this, and then as you can see, now we have it in the server 2 folder. Now that we've done what we need to do, instead of um, opening the jar file, we're going to start the start server, and it's going to open command prompt and basically start up the uh, server on there. 
Now here's a problem. Let's say you have a uh, let's say it's port two five five six five is being used because we're running another server. All you need to do is close the Minecraft server um, Java folder or Java uh, program and then run the command prompt again. And as you can see, now it's loading and preparing everything. And that's about it. This will add all the files you need. As you can see, it's basically the same thing as the other one where it said world, band IPs, op server, things like that. The only difference is this one uses a uh, start server and also the jar file. Which one is better? I'd say that this one is good for just simple use of Minecraft for survival and things like that. And also to just, you know, just play Minecraft simply. And server 2, which is the Minecraft server dot jar um, file is good for running mods and you know making a creative server and things like that so once that's done loading you can start up minecraft and in order to add people to your server what you need to do is open Hamachi and like we did before we're gonna have to copy the IP address and drag it to the server 2 folder and this time it says server properties as well and it's the same format as the other one we're just gonna paste it into server IP and that's it you're gonna close and save it and the only way for people to do it is if they have Hamachi installed and what you need to do is make a network just for your server by clicking network create a new network and we're gonna name it uh, let's say LCS LCS uh, server server 2 okay and you just need to put a password and every time somebody wants to join your network you just give them your, your network ID and also your password you click create and that's it you can make as many as you like as you can see I've made a couple of other ones this is my main server and we got a couple of people inside of the server as well as my friend server MC server joke owned by Jake Druid that's his IP right there if you want to join the server and that's it so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial it's fairly simple if you have any questions feel free to uh, comment below the description as well as thumbs up this uh, video and until next time this is Lightcast Studios and thanks for watching